Alrighty, Aquarius, so this is going to be your reading for December 17th to the 24th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. This is going to be a general reading. It will not apply to every Aquarius out there. That's why I do advise that you do check out your other placements. We are going to get straight into it. If you do want to purchase a personal reading from me because you would like to get further guidance, I do have a sale going on until the 25th. 30 minutes for a 30 minute phone session. Or I said 30 minutes for 30 minutes. $30 for a 30 minute phone session. So if you're interested in taking advantage of that sale uh, because you genuinely need guidance, definitely make sure you guys book that appointment in. All of my information for emailing me and booking that appointment is listed at the beginning of the video and also in my description box. And let's get straight into it, guys. One card from my Aquarius for December 17th to the 24th, please. What's the guidance that they need? for December 17th. Alrighty. So the first card out, this is going to be the affirmations that you guys definitely need to, I guess, follow or help you get through this week. And the first card that came out, we have, I live a balanced life. And I actually pulled this card for, I believe it was cancer. So this card says, so if you're dealing with the cancer, this is probably whatever. Um, but this card says everything in life requires balance, including what we categorize as work and play. Uh, it says by establishing equilibrium in all aspects of your life, you create a continuous flow of energy. Have the confidence that you can do it all while doing it well. So kind of what I was telling cancers, making sure that you guys are having a balance between work and play, understanding when to turn work off and when to turn play on, and then also weighing out some circumstances or situations in your life and kind of seeing whether or not uh, it's going to be conducive for you to be kind of participating in and just overall making sure that you're making balanced decisions, weighing out the pros and cons of everything and just... Just making sure there's an equal balance, like I said, okay? And what is the spiritual guidance for my Aquarius for December 17th through the 24th? What is the spiritual guidance that I can pass on to them for that week? And the card that we got, whoa. Okay, so three cards came out. So I'm going to address all of them because they're really quick for me to address. We have don't dim to fit in. It says, how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? We have star seed. What lights you up? And then we have break the chain. It says ancestral healing, rewriting the future. So I feel like this week. You guys are needing to, for one, not dim yourself down for anyone, okay? If you're somebody who's creative or you have, like, genius ideas or you you just have some sort of vision or idea of where you want to be creatively or just in general, I feel like you should not put yourself in a box or try to fit yourself or conform to other people and how they may think and act. Be your individual person. Be individual. Be you. Um, and I feel like you guys are also needing to figure out what makes you you, what makes you light up inside, what actually brings you that inner joy and what is your destiny? Like, where are you trying to be and where are you headed? I feel like that's going to be, a, a an underlying thing that you guys are going to be focusing on this week. And with the break the chain card coming out, I feel like you guys are also going to be needing to break some ancestral patterns, whether that's like negative ways that you deal with situations due to like just the way you've been dealing with it for many I guess generations or just any like traumas experienced in your family that may have caused you to be the way that you are I feel like you're needing to break that this week and come into awareness of the fact that it may be holding you back so that you can rewrite your future and move towards a more positive life for yourself okay Alrighty, so let's see what this deck is talking about give me one card for my Aquarius for December 17th 
24 trees, one car. Aquarius. Aquarius for December 17th through 24th. Okay. And the card that we have, okay, it says, don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. It says you need some fucking time alone, and you know why. I'm going to pull one more, too. One more. My Aquarius. Okay, so the card that flipped out, we have, you are loved. It says, you are here for a reason, don't fuck it up. And then another card fell out. It says, that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Go after that shit. The world has your back. So back to what I was saying before. You guys need to go ahead and tackle your dreams. Go after what you want to do creatively. Don't hold yourself back. Stop waiting. Procrastinating is not doing anything but pushing it off to the side for later. And we're not getting any younger, okay? It's no secret that we die every day, literally. Um, that sounds really, like, depressing. So I hope I'm not depressing anyone by saying that, but... You get what I'm trying to say. Make sure that you are tackling what you are meant to do here. And by you kind of procrastinating, you're not doing anything but holding yourself back. All right. So let's see what's going into. Let's go into love. Let's see what's going on with you guys in that department. Oh, why are you, why is everybody's cards just flipping out today? Single Aquarius and my taken Aquarius. December 17th through 24th. Alright. So the cards that I pulled for my Aquarius who are in a or not in a relationship, actually. The cards that I pulled for you guys I have worth waiting for, and it is safe for you to love. So I feel like divine timing is at play within your love life. If you haven't met someone yet, this person may be coming in soon. There's just some things being kind of worked out karmically when it comes to what you guys are dealing with. Also, with a new connection that may come into fruition, I feel as if you are needing to see if this person is worth your time. See if this person is energetically going to hold up to your standards and make sure you're not just giving in too easily with that person. All right. And what I'm seeing for my Aquarius who are in a relationship, I have expressed your love and very soon. So very soon there will be some shifts taking place within your love life, especially if there has been any issues. I am seeing that there may be a chance for you guys to work through those, but you have to actually open up emotionally or your partner does. Uh, somebody may not be giving their all when it comes to expressing and just showing the other person that they care so that may be an issue in the future make sure you are you know not doing that and if your partner is not opening up make sure that they're in awareness that hold on that's not going to work in our relationship all right so let's clarify with the full-on spread aquarius for december 17th through the 24th please Okay, so first card out, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys are in a space of really trying to improve yourselves. You guys are doing self-reflection, taking time to really master your craft. If you are somebody who is an artist or somebody who does music or somebody who just overall is trying to work on their business, I feel like you are like putting some things in place, trying to look at this, trying to look at that, really trying to sketch some ideas out when it comes to what you're trying to do. I have the Ten of Swords in reverse, so there may be some situations here that haven't completely ended, or for some of you guys, you're coming out of some really like traumatic situations that may have taken place, okay? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like things are really shifting at this moment. Um, you may be having issues with reconciling with somebody, or you may not be in a space of wanting to reconcile with somebody. It uh, looks like a water sign for some of you guys. doesn't have to be, but you're just really not here for the games. I feel like 
the luck is kind of turning on your side you guys are operating from more of a logical standpoint not really operating from your emotions and you may be in full awareness that something is a huge burden to you and there may be mental games being played okay this could be with a sagittarius doesn't have to be but that's the energy that i'm seeing here and coming into this week i do have the six of swords in reverse so you guys are not having clear thoughts with the six of swords in reverse you have issues with moving to a calmer place or moving on from something and then with the eight of swords this is showing me that you guys are still trapped to a situation mentally but you're not really trapped to it you guys are kind of operating from a victim mentality uh at this point and i kind of said this to cancers as well so if you are dealing with the cancer you do want to check out their video okay uh because this is kind of similar to their message but yeah trapped to a situation that you're not really trapped to mentally you can definitely get out of this it's just you need to take the initiative you need to take the action um what i'm seeing in the past i do have the lovers in reverse clarified by the star card in reverse so a relationship hit whoa a relationship here failed due to the fact that there was no hope. Also, there may have been a lack of a lack of healing going on within the connection. Like you guys may have been wrong, like somebody may have wronged somebody else in the connection, and you guys probably never healed from that, and that kind of caused the split. For others of you, just a lack of hope. And a relationship failed or somebody made a choice to not really step into a relationship because they feel like there's not going to be any real growth. This may be with somebody who you have kids with and you may have been married to them, um, whoever. But you guys definitely were not in a right space when it came to a situation here, okay? With the four of wands at the bottom of the deck, this could have been a twin flame connection. Or you guys are focusing on your foundation, but what I am seeing for the guidance, I do have the Queen of Cups in reverse clarified by the Emperor. So you guys, again, you do need to, for one, open up emotionally because with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is showing me that you guys are having issues with expressing how you feel. And with the Emperor, you may be trying to or needing to actually build some sort of structure and figure some things out also if you guys have kids with the water sign i feel like you guys should definitely build boundaries with that and have control over that situation because you don't want this person to just come in and out of your life okay yeah with the tower in reverse avoid any sort of tower situations by having control over yourself and how you deal with the person who you have kids with also overall control so that you guys can close some cycles out Alrighty, so what I am seeing for the focus and reason for this week, I do have the Hermit clarified by the Six of Swords in reverse. So going into your own space of introspection, going into a space of trying to figure things out spiritually or mentally and seeing which way you want to go before you really take action, I feel like that's what you guys are doing. And with the Six of Swords in reverse, this is showing me that, yeah, you guys are having to go within because you're having issues with moving on, all right, after some sort of loss that you've kind of suffered after you cut somebody off here that you had a family situation with okay strong water energy strong fire but that's definitely the focus for this week and what i am seeing for the outcome i have the justice card clarified by the seven of coins so you guys could be dealing with some karmic situations or karmic scales are going to be balanced i feel like things are going to be fair in the end also for some of you guys there may be a legal case that you guys are kind of waiting to kind of get resolved here yeah what i will say watch out for this person getting trying to get over on you in a legal sense okay yeah but overall i am seeing that things are going to start to balance out uh, especially if you've been waiting for things to kind of shift and you were dealing with just a lot of um dishonest associations or really bad circumstances when it came to arguing or bickering or just really bad um, mental games being played. I feel like there's going to be new opportunities presented, but you do need to take a load off your back and really focus on yourself and make some decisions, all right? So let's see what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Aquarius cross watcher partner person in question? For December 17th through the 24th, please. 
All right, first card out, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this person may feel as if they caught you cheating or they may have actually gotten caught cheating. If that wasn't the case. They feel like they can no longer be deceptive to themselves, okay? They may have been, like, in a very, like... I don't know, but... The next three cards out, I have the, yeah, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Coins in reverse. So you're definitely dealing with somebody who was just coming in and out, having very hot and cold energy. You could have been dealing with a player, and they weren't putting work in, okay? This person also may feel as if you were being a player, you may have been operating in that energy, or again, this could be them. However the situation unfolds, okay? This is general. But um, somebody's definitely having hot and cold energy when it comes to a connection here. Um, a lack of passion, a lack of effort being put in. And I feel like somebody's wanting to come back around, though, uh, after they realize that they, they want to bring balance and harmony to the situation. Okay. Um, I feel like this person feels as if they can't. Or they made a decision that they want to manifest something new, but they really want things to kind of end. Like maybe an old way that you guys are doing things or what, but. And then for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a Gemini or you're dealing with a Scorpio. I'm feeling like this person feels like the arguments are way too much and they need to focus on their sense of stability and they may be upset about some things that happened in the past, okay, with you. And that may be affecting the reconciliation. But nonetheless, like I said, this is general. Uh, if you do want a more personal reading, you could definitely book with me. That's pretty much what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that I was able to give clarity. And yeah, I'll definitely see you guys next week in your reading. Bye.